president? Well, you've been out of politics for 25 years. Well, you can say I'm well rested. Don't do it. Everybody's going to say you can't win. And even a lot of Democrats don't like you. When I get done, they're going to like me even less. But the country needs a guy like me. Candidates today can't tell you their favorite ice cream without a focus group. I'll tell them exactly what I think. And they can decide if they like it or not. That's leadership. But why now? Say, why not eight years ago? We live in a different world now. We have an aging population, a disaster of a healthcare system, looming bills for Social Security, and a foolish war that's going to cause us problems for a long time to come. Yet, I can't think of a time when America was more paralyzed in the face of problems. You look at the television, and politicians talk and talk and talk, and nothing gets done. Name a major issue facing America, and you'll find that no progress has been made on it in the last 36 years. Why not? Because representatives aren't in the business of solving problems. They're in the business of getting reelected, which is a very different thing. They are beholden to their political parties, which are timid, and to their donors, who have their own agendas. The only way our problems can be solved is through the people. That's why I want to bring citizens into government to provide real progress and real checks and balances. That's why you're running? Exactly. We've become a nation of talkers. It's time to start doing things. It won't be easy, but we have no choice. We have to tell our representatives that if they won't take care of these problems, we'll do it for them. It's time for a little healthy outrage. Well, good luck then. I won't stand in your way. Thanks. I'm going to need it.